Hi, this is Info Puppet, and we're going to talk about creating montages with clipping masks. You're going to absolutely love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 13 is open. This is where we're finding 12, 11, and 10. We're going to go to File, New, and Blank File. We're going to make sure that we have white for the background contents and 1280 by 720. I'm going to click on OK. And here's our blank file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the image we're working with and move it over to the side. And let's go over to the toolbar and select the custom shape tool. Now, if you don't see the custom shape tool, it might just be because the rectangle tool is showing. Just click on the rectangle tool and come down to the bottom. Select the custom shape tool. There's all kinds of custom shapes here. Make sure all element shapes is selected so you can see them all. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and find a shape. Let's see, let's find something really cool. Ah, uh, like, uh, this one. I love it. It's called Crop Shape 3. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to just left click, hold and drag it over the image. Now I'm going to grab the Move tool. And I'm just going to resize this so it fits the image a little bit better. Okay. So I'll click on the green check mark when we're done. And we have to unlock our background image by double clicking on it. And then we're going to drag it above the image of the shape. Now we're going to go to layer, uh, create clipping mask. Look at that. It is awesome. All right. Now I'm going to left click, hold and drag it over to the image. And what happened? Why do I listen to Info Puppet? He is such a dummy! Well, the reason why it didn't work is you have to come over here to your layers, hold the shift key down, select both of them at the same time, right click and select merge layers. Now I can left click, hold and drag over to my blank file. There it is. It is so awesome! All right, now I'm going to hit undo on my original image. All right, now we're going to go to the toolbar, select the custom shape tool, and we're going to try a different shape. Let's see what looks really good. Right here. So I'm going to left click, hold and drag over the top of the image. When you're drawing the shape, Photoshop Elements will automatically create a new layer. I just selected the move tool. Pretty good. I'm going to click on the green check mark. And now again, we're going to unlock the layer. Well, I'm going to try to drag it up, but I didn't unlock it. So now I unlocked it. I can drag it above my shape. I'm going to layer and create clipping mask. Look at that! All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the shift key down, select both layers, right click, and select merge layers. All right, now I'm going to left click, hold and drag it over to my file with my last image. I'm going to go to layer, layer style, style settings. Let's put a drop shadow on this. Look how cool it is. It is so awesome. I'm going to resize this a little bit. Now we're going to click back on the custom shape tool and let's collect another shape. Um, try this one now. Crop shape 25. I love crop shape 25. All right, so first, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit undo on my original image. Now I'm just going to left click, hold, and drag. 
grab the move tool so we can resize it. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna make it as close to the size of the image as we can. Then I'm gonna click on the green check mark. All right, so we're gonna double click here and unlock the uh, background layer and drag it above the shape layer. I'm going to go to layer and create clipping mask. By the way, when you create the clipping mask, make sure the image of your, or the layer with the image is selected or it won't work. Now I just, what you missed before is I just uh, hold my shift key down, selected both layers and merge the layers together. Now I'm going to turn this uh, starburst image off for just a second to resize these. Alright. Okay, now we're going to go to layer, layer style, and style settings, and put a drop shadow on them. And I'm going to click on OK. Look at that! It looks so cool! Alright, now I'm going to layer, layer style, and style settings and put a drop shadow on the last one. Look at that! It is awesome! I absolutely love it! All right, that was, uh, that's another one that I did. I just want to show you another one that I did earlier. There's all kinds of awesome shapes, so you can really get creative with your images. Thank you guys so much for watching. But I want to show you one more thing that you can do if you want to, is you can work with the opacity. And I'm just going to turn the opacity down on these two to really make my larger image pop. Okay, now we're going to turn the opacity down of the one on the top. And there you go. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. Please leave a comment. Thanks again from Info Puppet.